Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I was on a ride a couple of weeks ago, and I got a puncture. A little bit irritating. Anyway, I changed the tube, carried on. So I came home with the tube. Now, normally, my view, um, ladies and gentlemen, is that life is too short to patch an inner tube. So I don't normally bother. I've bought hundreds, literally hundreds, of inner tube patching kits over the years, and they never quite seem to work. Uh, anyway, I had nothing better to do, so I thought I'd patch this inner tube, which I did. And it's this is the inner tube, by the way. And somewhere on this inner tube, there is a patch which I put on. Well, it doesn't really matter, because that isn't the point of the video. Now, I pumped up the tube, and although it's, it's, you see here, it's got air in it, it hasn't got as much air in it as I did when I pumped it up. So I thought, you know what, I can't, I really can't be asked. So then I thought, right, I could do a video about seven uses for an old inner tube. Because, of course, as you know, I'm into reusing, recycling, and... What's the other wee thing? Is it reward? No, it can't be reward. Is it uh, regurgitate? No, I don't think it's regurgitate. Is it um, referendum? <laughs> what about a referendum on the uh, joining the European Union? Oh, shut up about Julian. Shut up about that. No, it's um, anyway, reuse, recycle, and, and something else, reform. So I thought I'd go through seven uses for an old inner tube. So let's get stuck in, shall we? Let's get stuck in. Okay, the first suggestion would be that you can use it to hang your bike up. So here is uh, here is a bike. This happens to be a Fairlight Sea Can, but you don't have to use a Fairlight Sea Can. Uh, the principle would work with any bike. Uh, just excuse me while I walk in front of the camera and I grab my inner tube. Here's my inner tube like this. I'm just going to let some air out as if I've had a puncture. Well, I have had a puncture. And uh, now we can see, yeah, you can see the inner tube. And I wrap the inner tube, I put the inner tube around just like that. And I try it. Thought I did something there. Did I not do something? Why did that not work? Oh, no, there it is, you see. And now I can pull, pull the bike up. Can you see that? Does that, does that show clearly? I'm not sure it does actually. Is it a bit... Is it too low? Very good, is it? There you are. Can you see what's happening? I'm pulling. Now, I'm not lifting the bike up because I happen to have done myself a little bit of an injury. So I won't show you the rest of that, but I think you get the principle. Okay, and the uh, inner tube will support a uh, fairly decent way. I wouldn't use it for a motorcycle, but uh, your average bicycle, if you wanted to hang it up in your in your living room or from a, a suitable beam uh, in your garage, then there you are. You can use the uh, inner tube to do that. So that's the first use for an old inner tube. Okay, the second reason, or the second use for an old inner tube, uh, would be as a, a, an exercise band. Now, let's suppose uh, you're one of those people who feels an incredible desire to live longer uh, and to be fitter. I can't frankly understand why you would want to, but let's imagine that you do. Well, and you want to do, you know, this exercise where you... Isn't there an exercise that well, ladies used to do? Like, no, let's not, let's not go down that path, Julian. Anyway, you want to um, expand your your pectorals. Is that pectorals or is that something else? Uh, my friend Rowan would know which, which muscles these are. I'm afraid I don't. Anyway, you can use it to, you see, because it's kind of stretchy and it's got resistance. I'm not going to demonstrate it too much because, as I said to you, I've got a little bit of an injury, but you could do these various exercises. I don't know the various kind of things that you can do, but unless you could sort of stick your foot in it like that. You can't see me. I'm sticking my foot in it. And then I'm doing a kind of, kind of um, bicep bicep curl. Is that what they call it? Again, I don't want to do it too much because I have done myself a little bit of an injury. But there you are. There's the second use for an old inner tube. Exercise bands. You can buy these uh, exercise bands on Amazon. Uh, Rafa do some, by the way, which are 99 quid. But if you use your old inner tube, get it for free. Well, not free. Obviously, you have to buy the inner tube in the first place, but you know what I mean. Uh, use number three. Uh, use number three, by the way, yeah, is as a kind of shim. Uh, now, I've I've uh, invented this idea, by the way. So I'm afraid you can't use it uh, unless you pay a pound uh, to my uh, uh, Just Giving page. But the the shim, if you get a like an out front mount 
for your Wahoo or your Garmin, other computer mounts are available, and you find that the mount is a bit too big for your handlebars, which I've found on a couple of occasions, then if you cut a bit of inner tube, obviously if you cut the inner tube, you can't then use it again, but you're not going to use it again because it's got a puncture. But if you cut a piece of inner tube out like this, I'm kind of demonstrating this with a pair of scissors. Oh, I've made another hole in it. I'm definitely not going to use this inner tube again. But you cut a little piece out. No, anyway, let me cut a piece out. You see what I've done? I've cut a piece off. And there I've cut that piece off. Did you see that? Piece off, piece off, piece. No, uh, uh, piece of inner tube, sorry. And I just cut that through like that. And what you've got, you see, is a little kind of flap of rubber. This has got some inner tube sealant in it, which is rather unpleasant. I didn't really know it was still there. Um, it didn't seal the uh, puncture. Um, but there you are. You can use that as a kind of shim on your handlebars. And as your handlebars are normally black, because not always, but they're kind of black uh, carbon or black metal or whatever it is, then this doesn't really show under your outfront mount. So that's actually quite a good idea. But as I say, I'm afraid you have to pay me a pound uh, in order to use it. Now the next use is, if you're looking down here at the floor of my garage, uh, and you are looking down at the floor of my garage, you'll see that it seems to be uh, covered in a kind of, kind of black rubbery stuff. Well that black rubbery stuff is actually um, old inner tubes. Now I used uh, 427 uh, inner tubes cut up into little bits and then laid uh, using uh, glue, uh, I think it's called, yes, glue, laid on the floor using glue. So there you are, an old inner tube works very effectively as a floor covering because it provides a kind of soft rubber uh, dampen service. So, you know, any strangulated sounds that might come from the garage, I'm not sure why strangulated sounds could come from the garage, but you know what I mean. Uh, it deadens them so it doesn't disturb uh, the neighbours when I'm entertaining myself uh, late in the evening. Uh, now the next use would be as a tourniquet and as you know you, you if you cut yourself and let's say you're out on a bike ride and you have a nasty accident let's say you you let's say you cut half of your arm off uh, with your disc brake rotors which I believe can happen uh, or let's say you've recently bought a chainsaw uh, as I have and you happen to be riding along uh, carrying your chainsaw and due to a uh, you know an extraordinary range of coincidences the the chainsaw switches itself on and saws kind of part of your arm off like that that film the the uh, Bexley chainsaw massacre so I'm just taking off my jacket so I'm showing you here my arm so then what you would do is obviously you need to carry this old inner tube with you or hope that you have a puncture so that it, it uh, provides you with an old inner tube and you then fashion uh, this kind of tourniquet thing around your arm like that and that's designed uh, to stop the bleeding there's one thing I would suggest which is uh, a doctor friend taught me and that is if it's your left arm that you cut uh, don't put the tourniquet on your right arm now that might sound uh, kind of sensible to you but then there are some there are some people who would perhaps get confused and if you say cut half of your leg off again uh, if it's the left leg that you've cut off make sure you put the tourniquet on your left leg not on your right leg because it just doesn't work. Um, if you are a, a, a drug user, uh, of course, you may have your own other reasons for using a tourniquet, but this isn't that kind of video, I'm afraid. You're going to have to look up other videos uh, on YouTube, assuming you can find them. So very useful as a tourniquet if you have an accident, a crash, or as I did, uh, managed to saw half of my arm off using a, a chainsaw while I was, while I was cycling along. It was, it was an extraordinary accident, actually. Uh, uh, GCN did a special video about it, and I also sent it in to, to Road CC, hoping they'd publishing it along with their, their close pass videos. But they said, no, this isn't the kind of thing our, our viewers are interested in. They're only interested in close pass videos, which I thought was, I thought was a bit snippy, actually, if I'm honest, Road CC. And the, the last use that I thought of for an old inner tube. Um, you know that game Tug of War? 
uh, which is sometimes done by children, sometimes done by kind of drunken university students or, or retired professors, people like that. Uh, what they do is they get a group of people together, perhaps 10 on each side. Difficulty if there's only kind of nine of you, but you know what I mean. You can then split that up. Although you wouldn't want to, if it was nine of you, you wouldn't want to have four or five. You'd want to have the same number on either side of your tug of war. Anyway, instead of using a rope as your tug, uh, is it tug or is it the war? Anyway, if it's the tug, okay, then use the, use the inner tube. Do you, do you see what I mean? Now, I don't know how far you can tug uh, an inner tube before the thing will either uh, kind of stretch and go, go back in your face, you know, like sometimes happens with a rubber band when you're a child or a, an elderly grandparent or something. So you, um, you, you, you kind of you, you pull it, stretch it between you, and then oh, 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 suddenly one, one team wins, and then the other team of uh, retired professors all fall over. Uh, in the mud and that's the end of the game and then everybody goes off and, and, and gets seriously drunk. So there you are, a tug of war. Well that's seven, is it six, is it seven? Sometimes my ability to count is uh, deserting me. Six or seven uses for an old inner tube. If you've got ideas yourself for using an old inner tube, keep them to yourself. I don't really want to see them in the comments. So um, thanks for watching and see you next time.